what is going on guys this is ben here and today bring you another boom beach video in today's video we're taking on mr hammerman we got three tries left he's level 77 today we will get four four prototype modules if we do beat him he's got some heavies some riflemen and some zookas he doesn't have grenadiers so that's an upside but and there's not too many heavies but there's a lot of riflemen and they're level 18 and he's got plus 15 plus 15 so hammerman's getting harder for me because before, I think, like, the troops were, like, level 16, level 17 when I was a little bit lower in medals. And the statue boost was only, like, plus 10 or plus 12. Uh, but since you guys saw from my video yesterday, we do have the ice boosted regardless. But in today's video, we're doing a troll base. A troll base versus Hammerman. So I do have two prototype modules, so that would happen. But let me, let me explain what I'm doing here. So basically, it's like a boomerang here. And what we want to really try and do is, like... Have Hammerman not be able to get to my HQ over here, so that's why it's all the way over here. And you guys maybe notice from like my other Hammerman base, I like how to like lead Hammerman. So we're trying to make him like go to this right hand side, and if if an off chance like a straight troop comes to my HQ, I got all these mines placed, so hopefully it'll kill it right away. But what we're trying to do is make him like time out or lose his troops because we want to go make him go. If he wants to beat us, he has to go hard and go all the way around the base and then get to the HQ. That's the point of the base. Um, I think I'm gonna do this now though, is like start making different style of bases for Hammerman and just have fun with them. Um, but yeah, so gonna want him, like the ideal plan is to him drop his troops, whether, it doesn't matter where, if it's far left, hopefully they'll still go over to these machine guns. We got our big level two mortar, our big level one cannon up at the front to deal those damages right off the bat. I think like we'll be fine without these there there you go you can see the stats there but yeah we're we're full boosted so i'm sure this will be pretty easy um but like on next hammermans if when my ice statues boost runs out might be a little bit more challenging for the bases that i come up with but we really just want him to walk all the way through here destroy everything and then if he's victorious gets to that hq um then like i said the mines are there just in case like a stray troop walks off or walks, walks over there or something like that oh um, but yeah, let me know if you guys are excited for like the new idea for Hammerman. Basically, like whenever he does come, I'll just think of a new base design, like some cool stuff. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. But make sure to let me know if you guys want to, would like to see that for future ones. Um, but here we go. We're defending, and as as I rise in medals too, like he's gonna get harder. So it's cool. <laughs> the full boat of heavies. Look at this cannon. It's gonna one shot him. It's actually dealing the level one cannon is dealing some good damage to those heavies. Man. And then my regular boom cannons just annihilating them. Oh man. Oh, these troops better go right. Go right. Yes. It scared me a little bit because, like, oh god. Go right. No! No, our plan is failing. Hold on, we got a lot of mines over there, so like. Like 70, we'll say like 80% of them are going to the right hand side. Let's see if these guys make it into the mine, because they better not. Otherwise, we're screwed. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Okay, the rockets are in play though, so... I forgot, I forgot about that. I put that rocket there just in case, like, troops got there. One rifleman in play. There's no way one rifleman with zero health is going to take me down, so... You can see the rest of the troops over here. We kind of just... The rest of it's working. Oh god. I didn't really take into consideration that after like, these troops destroy everything... Like... Then when he drops future troops, there's not going to be anything on the right hand side to guide them over there. Okay, that makes sense. Well, that's a failure. I guess what we're going to have to do is put more rockets over here just in case like the off chance this happens again. You can see the Zooka's got a free a free uh, attack there. Yeah, that wasn't really well thought out on my part, guys. So we're going to have to redo that. We'll put, we'll change it up a little bit. And then on the last attempt though, if I do... If it does get to that, I'll do a legit base. Just because we can. Unless I really think I can win. But okay, we're gonna switch this up. So we got rockets over there. And we'll put the... Put the shock launcher right here. Just in case. This rock can go right there. Alright, let's try it again. Let's see how this one goes. Now that we're our HQ will not get sniped. Oh man, dropping the heavies, the same exact spot. I think it's random where he drops them, but... And also, let me know how you guys fared against Hammerman today. 
it is a pretty tough strategy with the, the medics or all the riflemen and the bazookas, but nevertheless, it's okay. So, so we'll see. The riflemen are dropped more towards the right-hand side this time, so I think they'll actually go to the right-hand side, hopefully. We do not want them to go left, but this is good. It's just we don't have enough splash damage. If we, if we beat him, though, today, oh, with, th with this base, that'd be freaking awesome. I forgot to turn that down. Oops. There we go. Okay. Ruffman is bunched up like crazy. Shock Blaster is not really doing too much. It's like one shotting to deal with Rifleman, but the heavies are still alive. And that is going to be a downside because heavies are not good. We're, there's, only, there's still three minutes left. And he's already got like half my base down. At least none of the troops, except for now, are going to the left-hand side, so a lot of the Zooka's damage will be gone. Now all these rockets and shocks are in place, so this is the meat of my base. The rockets are going to melt those Zooka, so we don't really need to worry about that. And the mines. Got two things going on at once, but he's working his way. He's, he's got to work tough for my base, dude. And that Zooka's destroyed. There we go. Still a ton of riflemen. A ton of heavies. Oh, come on. The shocks are in play now, slowing them down a little bit. This is good, but they're just like swarm of ants. That's what they look like, man. Two minutes and 15 seconds about. So it does not look good for us, to be honest. We got the one shock launcher, bunch of riflemen, and rockets in that HQ. So our time gap is not really working how I planned. It's those medics, dude. Look at those medics. Even with our substantial boost. This is too much with those medics, man. I don't even know if we'll be able to beat it with our legit base, to be honest. Actually, nah, I'm kidding. We probably can, so. Patrol base. Trying to troll Ham Hammerman did not work today. Next week it will, though. So, we still get one more attack. Or defend, I should say. Man. Next week I'll make a different layout, by the way. Um, but where is it? Hammerman base, we're loading it. Put the shock blasters up here. We'll put that right there. And I think we'll, I think we'll do all right. This time, I think we'll win. I hope. Cause if not, that's gonna suck. But here we go. Dropping the troops. Dropping those heavies first. Hopefully, we were able to melt the heavies instantly because those are the nuisance. They are the ones that are. Not good, but we got the shocks now all in play. Everything's gonna be raining down on these troops, so it's a lot better than last time. We got the shocks actually at the front of the base. And then once the heavies go down, pretty much it's safe sailing from there because then those riflemen will die and then those zoom will die, and it'll just be a heck of a lot better, easier time. So the heavies' population is already diminishing. There's only like six left, so we're good. Um, three left now, two left, good. All heavies are gone. Riflemen almost all gone. And once those Zookas come to town, instant melted. So I'm surprised though, like, that he was able to beat me with that base. I for sure thought, like, it was gonna be like, so easy, simply because of my statue boost and I still have prototype modules. So that's the reason why our prototype defense is, like, these two shock flashes. That's the sole reason I thought I was gonna win today, but I guess not. Uh, but the, the real base is the winner, because we <laughs> instant melt the bazookas with the rockets. Medics can't do a thing, so the base held strong. Good job. Medics die out. There we go. So we weren't able to troll Hammerman today. He pretty much trolled us and nah, uh Get those bases out of here. Give me a legit one, and he still loses. So There we go. We got those four, four prototype modules, but man. I, I 100% like in my mind I was like okay this is probably gonna be a really short video we're probably gonna win in the first attack because my base is full boosted and there's no way he's gonna beat me and he beat me twice with that base troll base did not work but next week hopefully I come up with something a little better and hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you like it and over subscribe for more boom reach videos if you're not already because I have a wonderful day or night and I'll see you guys later.